Hello and welcome to INDTV News with Achna. A quick look at today's headlines. Indian fishermen released by Pakistan return to their homeland. Fourth annual Indian Independence Day celebration held at San Jose City Hall. Maruti Suzuki to restart work at Riot Hope's North Indian plant. Fear-stricken Northeastern people flee South India despite state peace assures their safety. And now for the details. Released Indian fishermen returned to their soil through the Wagha border in northern Punjab state on Thursday after serving their prison term in Pakistan. The released Indian fishermen were received by Indian authorities at the Wagha border and sent away to their respective states. The fishermen were languishing in prison for illegally venturing into Pakistan's territorial waters. The prisoners were released from Malik Jail in Pakistani port city of Karachi. Interacting with reporters at Wagha border, fishermen informed that they spent six months in the prison. हम मंची पकड़ने के लिए गए थे हमें पता नहीं था कि हम पाकिस्तान के समुद्र में चले गए और सुबह जहाँ जाया बड़ा और हमें पकड़ लिया सब सुबह शहर बजे और लैंडिंग में आ गए छह महीने की सजा काटनी पड़ी हमें Fishermen also expressed happiness on returning to their homeland. Pakistan had released 315 Indian fishermen, including 14 teenagers, in June. India and Pakistan have released scores of prisoners, a majority of them fishermen, since they resumed their peace process last year after a gap of over two years in the wake of the Mumbai terror attack. The two countries frequently arrest each other's fishermen for enrochment and often release them as a show of goodwill. The neighbors who have agreed to resume formal peace talks since New Delhi broke off negotiations after militant attack on Mumbai in 2008 have a disagreement over their maritime border in the Arabian Sea. The fourth annual Indian Independence Day celebration was held at San Jose City Hall on Thursday. It was also the opening event for the Festival of India, the FIA's 20th annual festival. There was a flag raising ceremony followed by the American National Anthem and Indian National Anthem. Four students of the Oak Grove High School in their beautiful uniforms carried the flag and raised it. We're always happy to raise the, uh, the flag and celebrate Indian, Indian Independence Day. It's a proud moment for India. It's a proud moment for America also. It's a proud moment for all the people living all over the world who really cherish democracy. This is really a celebration of de democracy. This is the 66th year of India's Independence Day. Member Ashkalra welcomed the dignitaries, which included Mayor of San Jose, San Jose Mayor Chuck Reed, Chairman and Convener FIA, Ramesh Jafra, President of FIA, Rajesh Varma, Mr. N.P. Singh from Consulate General Office, and State Assembly Member Paul Fong. Well, I think as the years go on, the Indian community becomes much more sophisticated and mature. You know, like any community, you're in a country, you know, for a decade, two decades, a few decades. Now we've been here for so many decades. I think the longer we're here, the more we're ingrained in American culture and society. And the great thing about it is we still hold on to our heritage, hold on to our culture, our religion, and we can do it all. And that's what's so wonderful about being in America and being American is that you can be exactly who you want to be. And I think that this celebration really uh, epitomizes, epitomizes that. Absolutely. All of, you know, this time the youth wanted us to get somebody really young upcoming star we have uh, our grand marshal sonu sood wow. so he's a tall handsome guy i'm sure everybody loves him he's worked in a lot of movies uh, lately the bang which is one of the very famous movies uh, he has so he's already here with us and uh, he's going to be part of the parade and again on sunday night we have a banquet as well in san jose airport garden hotel so if some some of you want to join him meet him personally uh, that'll be the place to come congratulated all Indians and spoke about the amazing contributions by Indians in every field. Mr. Jabra thanked Askalra for organizing the event for the fourth consecutive year. He mentioned that it is the 20th annual festival of India which is going to be held in Fremont over the weekend and includes free health fair, a mela, dance competition, cultural program, parade, awards, celebration and Bollywood musical extravaganza. The Dianza South Asians with Peace Dance Group presented the Kathak and Kuchipuri Dance, followed by Sandam School of Kathak Dance. There was a dance performance by the Jollywood Dance Group as well. A beautiful art exhibit presented by artist Madhuri Kadra of Krishna Art School was appreciated by everyone. Maruti Suzuki, India's largest car maker, said on Thursday it would restart production at its Manesar factory on August 21st about a month after it shut the plant following a riot in which a manager was killed and more than 100 people injured. 
The 550,000 vehicles per year factory in Manay service the unit of Japan's Suzuki Motor Corp with its best-selling Swift hatchback has been idle since July 18th, clash between workers and management. And it's taken us, actually it's taken us a month to get to that point where we can now feel secure in starting production in Manesar. The technical work relating to starting production was actually completed earlier. And uh, the repair work and all was done. But as I said, we would not be willing to start production till the security of people was ensured. The next requirement was to ensure that the work can be carried out within the factory in safety and that when the employees leave the factory and go home, also they are secure in their travel from the factory and back to the factory for the work. At a news conference in New Delhi, Maruti Suzuki chairman R.C. Bhargav said, while the company had been technically ready for the production much earlier, the management had to be sure that employee safety was intact before work resumed in earnest. Maruti said it would start producing 150 cars a day from Tuesday with 300 workers. Bhargav added that the government of Haryana, where the plant was located, would provide armed security personnel to the factory. The company, which will start hiring additional employees from September 2nd, has tagged 500 permanent workers based on initial investigations. Meanwhile, in Gurgaon, adjoining the national capital, police officials produced GRR, named by them as the main accused in the case at a district court. He added that the dispute had been triggered off when Jalal had a cashier's slur aimed at him, which was blown out of proportion by the management. Labor troubles at Maruti have put the spotlight on the country's decades old labor laws. Other foreign car makers such as Hyundai and Honda have seen labor unrest at their Indian plants in recent years, and industry groups have renewed calls for the government to overhaul laws they say tie their hands. Maruti shares, valued at $6.2 billion, ended down about 1% on Thursday, underperforming a flat market. The stock has lost 4.4% since the riot. Despite Southern India's Karnataka State Chief Minister assured safety and security to thousands of Northeastern Assamese, the panic stricken people were fleeing the province under fear they would be attacked in retaliation for communal violence in their home state. Speaking to reporters in Bangalore on Thursday, Karnataka Law Minister Suresh Kumar said government had to take all necessary steps to ensure the safety of the Northeastern migrants. Similarly, member of the Hindu radical outfit Vishwa Hindu Parishad Kundan said the police from the Northeast should not leave Bangalore and he also assured them of protection on behalf of the administration. The Hindu nationalist federal opposition Bharatiya Janta Party, which has in the past been accused of fomenting Hindu-Muslim violence, blames their Sam riots on uncontrolled immigration into the state from Muslim-majority Bangladesh. It says the Congress party which leads a ruling coalition allows immigration to win votes from new arrivals. Meanwhile, migration continued from Mysore city as college students slowly trickled out of the city. Mary, a student, said that she was going back home as her parents were worried about of her well-being. Thousands of fear-stricken people hailing from northeastern states on Thursday were seen fleeing from IT hub following rumors of attacks posed the recent ethnic clashes between the Bodo tribe people and Muslim communities. Over the weekend, two people were killed and 55 wounded when about 10,000 people rioted in Mumbai after Muslims held a protest against violence involving members of their religion. As per the media report, at least 5,000 people from northeastern states rushed to get rail tickets to return home after the rumors had spread across the IT city to messages and mails that they could face attacks as a reaction to riots in Assam. In recent years, Hindus and Christian sides have built a strong anti-immigrant and anti-Muslim sentiment against settlers from mostly Muslim Bangladesh, which neighbors Assam. The Bodos have long fought for a separate homeland, and after a 16-year armed struggle, they signed the 2003 peace accord with New Delhi, giving them autonomy over the four districts. They say many of the Muslims who over the years have grown to outnumber the Bodos are illegal immigrants from Bangladesh. 
The Muslims who work for Bodo's on their fields and construction sites or as rickshaw drivers say they are Indian citizens and have voting rights. And now it's time for a small commercial break. 